Today, I do more dumb to my car. I'm right, turning onto the freeway. All right, punching. <laughs> oh man! So when I first got this car, a blow off valve was one of those things I was telling myself I wouldn't modify my car with. Right? And the reason why is because I don't like obnoxious sounding cars. I live and grew up in this area where sports cars are everywhere. Right, especially the JDM cars. Now there are a lot of males and young males in my area that have sports cars. And a lot of them, one of the first things I'll do is add or change the blower valve. Now I reckon that sounds really cool on an old JDM car. On an old Subaru, or old Skyline or an old Evo, I reckon they sound pretty good. On this car, I reckon that sounds obnoxious. Now I love modifying my car. I love nice sounding cars, but I don't want it to be loud and obnoxious. So I don't know if I'm going to like this mod. I've held off for so long and now I'm finally going to do it. And the only reason why is because I found this GFB blow valve on the Facebook marketplace for a really good deal. Right? And I still don't know if I'm going to like it. I had this sitting in my room for about two or three weeks and now I'm actually going to start putting it in because I've got some extra time. Now this is not the flagship model, this is not the fully adjustable GFB response version. This is the hybrid version, right? The response fully adjustable version, you can twist and change it um, from recirculating to venting at any ratio that you'd like, but this one only has three versions. This one has the full recirc or the full venting to atmosphere or a 50-50. And if I really do like the sound, I'm just gonna I can get rid of this and I'll buy the fully adjustable version. And if I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it again. Now, the reason why I went with this GFB law foul is because GFB is an Australian owned or an Australian made brand. And it's really cool. And the engineers have worked really hard to make this work with a lot of cars and it works really, really well. The second reason why I went with this GFB law foul is because of the sound. Right? It doesn't sound like a dead pigeon. It sounds like a mad pshh. Right, I hope, I'm, I'm just hoping it's not too loud and that it's a tasteful sound and just add some character. I don't, again, I don't want to be too obnoxious with my car. So first things first, jack up your car, get it on jack stands. Okay. Then you gotta remove these clips, get rid of the under tray, so that we can get access to in there. So the first step was that under tray. What we really want to get to is in there, but this aluminium tray is in the way, so I gotta get rid of that as well. Let's do it. Hey Leo. Most turbo cars will come from the factory with a bypass valve. When you're on the gas, the computer instructs the throttle valve to open up and the turbo sucks in air needed for the combustion reactions that occur inside the engine. When you're off the gas, the throttle valve shuts. The air that is sucked in the turbo that hasn't been used up has to go somewhere and the only place is backwards. If it goes backwards towards the turbo, it hits the compressor turbine and does some nasty things to the turbo over time. The factory bypass valve catches the air before it goes back to and hits the turbo and recirculates it to the intake just before the turbo. It's called a bypass valve because it allows the air to bypass the turbo as it is recirculating. The aftermarket GFB blower valve that I'm installing has the option to do exactly the same thing as the factory bypass valve. However, GFB claimed that the blower valve in full recirculating mode will recirculate the air much faster. The GFB blower valve also allows the air to be vented to the atmosphere or released into the atmosphere. This is what gives off the psh noise or the dead pigeon noise. got out the 
turbo inlet. This is the factory bypass valve. So air from the intake will come in here. When you're on the gas, air will come in, will go through the turbo up to the intercooler. Now when you're off the gas, so there's extra air that comes back out and it goes back through here and it recirculates. All right, if you have a look here, this is made of plastic. The GFB ball valve. Okay, this goes in like that. Air comes back from the intercooler and venting to atmosphere through that one there. There are pros and cons to recirculating the air and to venting the air to atmosphere. And there are a lot of internet warriors that will tell you many things about either side. I'm not here to debate that. I don't really care. What I do care about is changing or enhancing my own driving experience. And one thing I know for sure is that the construction of the GFB blow valve will be much more durable than the stock crappy plastic bypass valve. All right, finally in. There's our trumpet up there. Let's hope that it all works and nothing breaks. So it's been a few mornings, a few days, it's freaking cold, I'm going to see my physio and I'm going to get my second jab of the Pfizer vaccine and I get to test my blow off valve. It's so cold, it's 12, 10 degrees outside right now. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's pretty that is borderline dirty. That is borderline dirty. Sounds a little bit like my intake which was the existing sound. But it's a lot louder and it's a lot of a, it's much stronger sound as well. Whereas the intake was like this one. You can hear it kicking in in two stages. It's not a it's and that is so cool. Oh, there's a guy riding his bicycle with a lorikeet on his shoulder. That's mad. And it's not obnoxious or anything. At the moment it's on 50-50, so 50 being recirc and 50 being vented to the atmosphere. I don't even want to know what it's like on full venting to atmosphere. I reckon that's going to sound obnoxious. I don't even know if I need to upgrade this to the, the response, the fully adjustable one. I'm pretty happy with how this sounds. I've got a mad bargain on this. to the freeway all right punching That it's going to last longer and be able to handle more boost than the stock blower valve or the stock bypass valve. It's, it's all about the fun and games, you know. Like, why drive a car if it doesn't make you smile? And not that it didn't make me smile before, because it did. This just changes the experience, it enhances it, and it makes it just that much more enjoyable.
I was pretty excited when I first got my intake stored. If you haven't seen that video, the intake goes, you hear the whoosh and you hear the air, and it just takes it to another level. I'm so glad that it's not the dead pigeon sound. So glad with how it's turned out. It's it's just so cool. The best thing about it is that it's a completely DIY project and my car still works. You know, I'm not a mechanic in any way. I don't claim to be a mechanic. I'm a science teacher. I read books. I study. I write. I do random experiments. Most of the times, I blow things up when I'm in the science lab. One thing that hasn't blown up is my car. And to me, there's no greater joy than driving something that you've worked on and driving something you've worked on that hasn't blown up. All right, huge shout out to Lawrence at Active Therapy. I've been getting treated by Lawrence for about a year and a half. The reason why I'm still here after being through so many physios and chiros is that Lawrence works with Taekwondo athletes right? and I first started seeing Lawrence um, because the injuries that I've incurred during Taekwondo finally caught up to me and you know we worked on it for a long time and God responded to it really well now I just see him for regular maintenance and you know huge shout out to Lawrence great guy it was a great business yeah, mate. Active therapy. How are you going? <laughs> Did I torture you today? Oh yeah, of course, mate. How many needles? Four, right? Four. Far out. For my ass. <laughs> this long. This long. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, how are you? Good. What are you here for today? I'm here for my second dose of Pfizer. Okay, do you have any that follow in signs and symptoms? Not at all, no. Have you been asked to self-isolate within the last 14 days? No. And are you a close contact to a confirmed case? No. Okay, and if I can get you to sanitize if you haven't done so. Yep, thank you. Good morning. Dose of the Pfizer? Yep. I'll just go through the questions. Are you yep. feeling unwell today? No, no. Do you want your left or right arm? Uh, left arm, please. Okay, do you want to get it back Yep. Oh. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I did dissection at uni for the longest time and I still can't look at myself getting jacked. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> okay, that's all done. Now I'll just give you... That's it for this episode guys, hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you in the next one.